it's April Garrett with Seniors Blue Book, and today I have John Morris with me from Whitetail Springs. He is their Community Resource Director. How are you doing today, John? Fantastic. How are you? I'm doing okay. Hanging in there Good. still. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So tell us a little bit about Whitetail Springs. I know that it's a fairly new community. That's correct. That's correct. So I'm going to actually go back beyond us and talk about our corporate entity. That's JEA Senior Living. Um, so JEA started back in the 80s. Our founder, Jerry Irwin, um, had a history in skilled nursing. His, his family had a history there. And his mother was diagnosed with dementia. So as he was trying to find care for her, he just couldn't find a place that he felt uh, met her needs, essentially. So he decided to start his own. And that was the starting of uh, JEA Senior Living. So we're now... 60 communities across the U.S. We are the first in Pennsylvania. Um, there are about five in Ohio, and there is one opening very soon, taking residence very soon, uh, near Philly in Dresher, PA. Okay. Uh, but we are the first. We started uh, bringing in new folks in December. Um, so we are a growing community. We're, we're licensed for 66 folks. We have 55 apartments here. Um, so yeah, so Jerry just started his own thing and it's, uh, started with meaningful moments program, um, in which basically we kind of flipped the script a little bit. A, a lot of communities like ours are very task driven. So what I mean by that is you have your aides have a task sheet and they need to get people up by eight o'clock so they can have breakfast by eight 30 and they're in an activity by nine 30 and then they're having a nap and then they have dinner at, or lunch at noon and then it's back to an activity and then it's a nap again. It's just very repetitive. It's, it's very much task driven and you are fitting your residents into what your needs and wants are and your schedule for the day. We kind of blow that up. <laughs> and when we exist inside their reality. Um, so what we do is we have kind of a two-prong approach to this, and it's the clinical background, and then it's kind of a holistic approach, and, and we get to know the person as well. So, of course, just like anybody else, we're collecting all that clinical data, and we want to know what their health care needs. And that's a very important thing, and we want to make sure those are all met. Um, but then we're also doing a, a life story on anybody that comes in the building. And a life story is anything from someone's favorite color to how late they like to sleep in the morning. Do they like eggs for breakfast? Um, were they married? What were some major accomplishments? Were they an electrician? Did they like to tinker? Were they a teacher? Did they like sports? What teams? Everything like that. So what we try to do is just make sure that everybody has a good day here. And when you get to talk about yourself, we all like to do that. That's why I'm doing this right now, <laughs> because we like to talk about ourselves. We're salespeople. That's what we do. Um, so, you know, everybody likes to talk about themselves and everybody likes to, to feel like they're being heard and their, meet and their needs are being met. And we like to do our favorite things. So imagine a day where you get to wake up every day and you get to do your favorite stuff. That's kind of cool. And so that's what we try to do for our residents. Um, if there's activities that we don't like, we're not going to invite you down for that one because we know that you don't like that. We're going to bring you down for the stuff that you like, and we're going to let you take walks in the building and, and do things that you like to do. We have a very walkable community. It's built in a big P. Um, we also have a huge backyard that's all secure, um, an interior courtyard that's secure. Um, it's, it's, very, it's a very seamless floor plan here um, with, with lots of things to do, lots of engagement all day, every day. Um, so we, we just, like I said, we want our folks to have a good day. <laughs> that's, that's the basis for everything we do. And it's, it's about them. It's not about our schedule. If you have to file some papers, you can do it later. Sit down, hang, hang out with Margaret, talk to her about her day. That's what she wants to do. That's the most important thing that you have to do. And we empower our, all of our staff to do that sort of thing. I love it. My grandmother, probably about 20 years ago, had dementia. And okay. um, I visited your building quite a few times since it's been open. And it's not only is it gorgeous, but the way that it's set up with the courtyard. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic place. And just knowing what your staff does and what they do for these residents, it's, it's phenomenal. You have a phenomenal. It's a mission. It, it truly is a mission here. Um, I, I, I've, I've worked in this industry for about 10 years. I've been here for about four months, so I'm still relatively new, but it's a new building. Um, but I came into this industry because of my family history. Uh, my grandmother had dementia. Um, so 
I had no idea any of this existed until I had to start going on tours and visiting her and in, in independent living and, and assisted living and then eventually into skilled nursing before she passed. But I, I had no idea any of this existed and that's how I got into it in the first place. So to see a community um, that specifically serves those type of residents, um, knowing what my family went through and my experience that we all had, it's just such a mission. And what I found when I came here is that so many of our staff, um, administration and frontline staff have had the same experience I've had. So we've all been touched by this personally. Um, so that's the approach that we take. It is really, truly a personal approach to it. It's fantastic. So during COVID-19, are you guys accepting new residents at this time? We are, we are. And you know, I have to be honest, for us, it's pretty much business as usual. Our business is taking care of people. There are still people out there that need taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because of COVID-19, people aren't, haven't stopped falling. Um, you know, there, there, there are still people that are unsafe at home. It doesn't change things for them. Um, we still need to be here for them, and we are. Um, so we've been taking precautions. Our, our home office is in Washington State, as I mentioned. So they had really kind of front row center for what this virus can do when it gets into um, into a facility like it did out in Washington and everybody saw what happened out there. It was tragic. Um, so we really got out ahead of this. Uh, we, we've, been, we've been modifying visitation since the end of February, um, eventually restricting it. <clears throat> we are now testing as well. We do have COVID tests. So anyone that's uh, in a, a new admission or a readmission of one of our uh, one of our current residents, uh, if they go out to the hospital and coming back, we're doing COVID testing as well. Um, in addition to uh, enhanced social distancing, so we're, we're doing social distancing in our dining rooms. We do have two dining rooms. Um, and at activities, we're making sure that we're maintaining that safe space um, in the community daily. So our activities are still continuing to go on. We don't have everybody sitting in their rooms all day just watching TV. We're still out and about moving and shaking and making sure that they're having a good day. Um, but we, can, we can still do that in a safe way if we're smart about it. And um, we, we've had, uh, we had a clean building so far. We haven't had any cases uh, with staff or residents. And in fact, our, our company's done a fantastic job of that as well. And, and we have 60 buildings and I, I think maybe there was one case uh, across, uh, across all of our buildings, all 60. Um, wow. um, and that was, that was a pretty exceptional case at that. Um, so yeah, it, it, our, our whole company as a, as a, as a whole has done a fantastic job of, uh, of really being hyper vigilant uh, against this as we need to be to protect our folks. Well, wonderful job. Wonderful job to you and your staff. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. So I'm going to pull up your website real quick here. And I mm -hmm. didn't know if there was anything that you want to share on your website, maybe there's some photos that people can find of what your building looks like, or maybe are you guys offering any kind of virtual tours right now? We, we are actually, we just started up a, a YouTube channel okay. um, for our, our building, our Whitetail, Spring, Whitetail Springs building uh, in particular. So you'll see me on some more videos hanging, <laughs> hanging out and, uh, and, and doing things like that. Um, all of our building, most of our buildings in JEA basically have the same floor plan. So um, any, any pictures that you see on here um, may not be building specific, and I can send those, of course, if anyone's interested. Um, but uh, yeah, lots of good information there. Uh, lots of things about our, our Meaningful Moments program. Um, we have uh, five cornerstones to that Meaningful Moments program. It's family partnerships, education, innovation, a specialized dining program, and, um, and of course, programming, which is our, our uh, activities. Yeah, I can even see on here the back courtyard. So they must be all very similar, all the buildings. They are. They it's are. Beautiful. It really is. It is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So what is the best way for people to contact you, even if they have questions or any specific questions about your community? Absolutely. Well, you, you can go to our website to schedule a tour. You can do that. Um, but what I'll do is I'll actually give you my phone number. Um, you guys can call me anytime. You can text me anytime. Just let me know who you are if you text me because I won't know, obviously. Um, but uh, I'll give you my, uh, my building number is 412-884-3033. And you just ask for me, John Morris. Um, either that or you can text me anytime. And that's 412 977 
5404. You can call or text on that number. I'd be more than happy to send you any information that I can. Um, in addition to, the, like I, I mentioned, we have that YouTube channel now. Um, we have about seven different videos that uh, talk about our Meaningful Moments programs. They, they do a little more in depth about, the, about our community and, and what we do and who we are and um, all the great things that we're doing here for our folks that live here. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Is there anything else that you would Absolutely. like to point out quickly before we hang up? Um, you know, I, I think the most important thing really uh, to know about us is um, well, we're, just, we're just here when you need us. Um, and we're here as a resource. The most important thing to me is to make sure that you find the right place. Are we perfect for everyone? No, but you know what? It, it's a big sandbox and there's, we can all play in it. And uh, my most important thing, you know, having dealt with this on a, on a personal level, on a family level, um, is finding the right fit. If, if it's not with us, uh, which I'm pretty confident it will be, um, I'll make sure you find the right place. And that, I, that goes for all of our staff. We just want everybody to be safe. It's a difficult time out there. Um, and I know a lot of our other, uh, other partners in the community, um, other, other senior living communities, we're all working together to make sure everybody stays safe. And that's the first and most important thing on our minds right now. Um, so anything that we can do to be a resource for any families out there, just reach out. We're more than happy to talk and chat and see what we can do to help. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Well done. And I hope to see you soon. Absolutely. All right. Take care, John. All right. Thanks, April. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.